Welcome to the beautiful Rockford Plantation. Built circa 1794 in the heart of Lancaster County Central Park, this was the former home of Revolutionary War General Edward Hand and his family. Much of the building is a time capsule to late 18th century living, but legend suggests that these walls may hold more than just early American artifacts. Four members of the Hand family passed away in this house, and because of that fact, the Hand mansion quickly became rumored as haunted. Where those stories, where those legends seems to have begun was with John Hand's death here in 1807. John Hand was the eldest Hand's son. He died here as a result of a gunshot wound to the head. It was believed that actually it was intentional. It was a su unfortunately a suicide. Uh, there's been over the years there's a lot of speculation as to was there a cause, was he depressed, we don't know really. One story is that he went to the horse races that day and he was there and he was apparently in good spirits and he came back and then later this happened. There's another story that he had a um, girlfriend basically that, that dumped him, that he was depressed about that and we just really don't know for sure. There's two possible rooms where it happened, and one is the room right behind us across the hall, the gold parlor or the family parlor. The other, which is the more likely location, is on the second floor, which we believe was an upstairs sitting room at the time that maybe doubled as a guest bedroom. That room, for years, there was a big stain on the floor and the floorboards. And the story was that that was John Hand's blood and they were ever, never able to clear it up. This room, known as the unrestored room for this very reason, still bears this stain. But it's a mystery as to whether or not this is truly blood from John's tragic death. When something terrible like that happens in a house, um, then and now, it can often leave a stigma on a place. And after John's death here in 1807, no one really wanted to live here. After years of abandonment, tenant farmers, and various caretakers, the Rockford Plantation was restored and opened to the public as a museum in the 1960s. Since then, staff and volunteers have experienced their fair share of strangeness. Often people experience sounds or have experienced sounds, uh, smells, Things like um, coming in here, volunteers or staff coming in here first thing in the morning and it smells like candles have been snuffed out, just snuffed out. Hearing footsteps going up the stairs and then realizing later that in fact nobody was going up the stairs or could have been at that time. In the 1970s there was a couple that had a son and they lived in the apartment which on top used to be where the caretakers would live. The uh, son was told of course uh, when the house isn't open, that he shouldn't be playing in the rooms that are the museum, essentially, they're part of the tour. But, you know, kids being kids, he did. And uh, he one day came back to his mother and he was a bit shaken up, apparently, and she said, what's wrong? He said, well, you know, I, I was down in the boys' bedroom on the second floor where it would have been the hands boys' bedroom. No, I'm not supposed to be there, but I was there and there was another boy there. And she said, well, what are, you, what are you talking about? He said, well, there was another boy there, and I could tell he, it was his room, and he didn't want me there. Whether or not there are spirits roaming these halls is up for debate. One thing for certain, though, is that these ghosts can feel at home with the authentic period displays. It was because of the fact that there was a stigma about the house, and because people were a little bit afraid to live here, that it was so well preserved, that it was in its own time capsule in a way. So if there is anything here, uh, it's, I don't feel that it's uh, threatening, but that it's a, it's a positive feeling. So hopefully whatever good things happened here left positive emanations and that the bad things that happened here, as it's happened in all houses at some time, that eventually that, that faded with time. While emanations may fade with time, the glass window with John Hand's signature and the tragic stain in the upstairs room is forever a reminder of the darkest times at Rock Ford. <laughs>